Hi folks and welcome to Drew's music channel and today I'm going to do for you the Ed Sheeran song Perfect. Uh, I'm sure most of you know about this song but I'll just give a wee bit of background. Um, it's been out for about a year now, I believe it was Christmas number one certainly in the UK anyway. And um, there's been three versions um, of it at least that I know about. Um, there's one just with um, Ed Sheeran on his own, one with uh, Beyonce and also one with Andrea Bocelli the Italian opera singer. So. It's a proper bona fide monster hit and it's going to obviously be getting played and we'll be hearing it for years to come at weddings and whatnot. Much as I'm not a great fan of Ed Sheeran, I think that um, the guy clearly knows how to write a great pop song time after time he comes up with the goods. And in regards to this song, he really has written a perfect ballad, but, um, pardon the pun. So, And that kind of leads me on to just talking quickly about the tempo. I mentioned it, but by sheer coincidence, this has got a similar tempo to the song I spoke about last week in the video I shared with the Beatles song You've Got to Hide Your Love Away you can see that on my music channel if you haven't seen it already but it's got that kind of walls feel to it but just to quickly t uh, explain the difference that, uh, with this one last week we spoke about the kind of or I spoke about the one two three one two three one two three quite kind of sharp um, quite kind of choppy beat to it but because this is a ballad it's a lot slower so you don't really have that one two three type feel it that's more of a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a and so on and so forth. So that's what you should be aiming for. Do that again just so you've got a full um, rotation when we're doing that. So it's one and a two. say I don't want to get bogged down in that too much with the different time signatures but it is obviously important with that song to try and get it sounding right. Last week I mentioned that the Beatles song was more of a kind of 3 over 4 and that was um, uh, but as I say with this song it's more of a 6 over 8 because there's more notes within the bar I believe I think that's the kind of simple explanation for myself to understand anyway. If you go on to forums at this type of thing there's arguments all over the shop, people coming up with all different suggestions but that's my understanding of it and I'm going to stick to it and I hope you can understand that as well. Now if you can get the strum of the song right you're really halfway there because it's quite an easy song to play in terms of the chords. It's all open chords, standard tuning and I believe that what I'm going to show you is the same key as Ed Sheeran plays it in. So it's in the chords used are G, Old Faithful G, you can play it like that, play it with the finger off, whatever you want. Some people don't like playing the full G with the first finger, second fret, eighth string, they think it dulls it down, makes it a bit muddy. It's whatever your preference is. So you can do that. So it's G, E minor, C, and D. Okay, so G, E minor, C, and D. So that's the chords that you're using uh, in the rotation for the first part of the song, the intro bars, and then the first few lines of the verse. Okay, the song only, only the song only sorry really starts to open up once he um, starts to sing the lyrics. We were just kids when we fell in love, and at that point. That time round he adds an extra G, so I'll just show you what I mean, it's uh, We were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up This is where the extra G comes in Comes in This time Darling just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes you're holding Extra G Mine that's it, and then you're ready to go into the the chorus. Now, what's a wee bit different with this song is, or what I think is a wee bit unorthodox is, I normally think that you play your minor chords in the verse, and then you're kind of building up to the brighter chords, um, the brighter major chords in the the chorus. But Ed knows a lot better than me, so he's done it the other way about, the other way about, and he's done it perfectly. So it's um, E minor, dancing in the dark. You between my arms. So it's E minor, C, G, D. E minor, C, G, D. 
and you just play that round until he's completed all the lyrics and I think the last, that's the kind of chorus line that, towards the end of that rotation, the chorus rotation is um, you look perfect tonight and that is you and the beauty of this song is it's really just identical um, in the first part and the second part so you're at this point you're about 49% of the way there uh, there is a wee part I'm going to include which is a runny diz now um, I've seen people playing it live they don't include this uh, I've also seen people online and they don't include this as well it's easy enough to play so I would include it because it kind of gives adds a bit of freshness and impetus to the song and into the second half because as I say the song just repeats itself and there's no extra middle eight or anything like that you've just got the verse pre-chorus chorus so wee things like that make it more interesting for you to play and more interesting for uh, people to listen to you as well and it is what he does in the song so there's no harm in giving it a try so it's G so this wee run so you've got to that part deserve it darling you look Tonight, and this is a run. Okay, so just slow it's G, D, E minor, D, and C. You're holding on to C for an extra bar. In fact, I don't know if that's 100% the way he plays it, but certainly I've just kind of got into the routine uh, just holding that C. I don't know whether he maybe just goes... No, he doesn't. He does, he does hold it on the C. That's fine. Okay, so just stick to that. G, D, E minor, D, C, hold. Now I mentioned before, I do tend to play quite quickly, so I've really quite going to discipline myself with this song to keep it slow because it is a ballad that shouldn't be played quick and it should, as I say, back to the tempo, it should be one and a two, and a three and a four, okay? And that is really it, folks. Um, just away for this song, just in terms of these chords here, these, if you're just starting out, these chords G, E minor, C, D. You can be mixed up any way you want, but these chords are used excuse me, all the time um, in popular music. I mean, right off the bat, you could talk Bruce Springsteen, Dance in the Dark, Oasis, Songbird, um, Stand By Me, John Lennon, Benny King, Bare Naked Ladies, I think, use this, and G, E minor, or E minor G is used and will continue to be used forever, especially in pop music. And it's certainly the go-to cause for kind of acoustic and singers and songwriters, all that type of thing. So if you can get master the chords, you're a long way to learning tons of different songs and, and obviously increasing your enjoyment of playing the guitar as well. So I'm going to play this song in a second. I've got a wee bit of tickly so so I'm going to just have a wee quick drink of water. And I'll just remind you that I've got a Facebook page. Uh, it's Drew G Music. Drew G Music. So if you go in there and give that a wee like and obviously make, um, do updates as often as I can. Um, and anything I share on YouTube I then put onto my Facebook page as well. Uh, in regards to YouTube, if you wouldn't mind subscribing at the channel below and if you press the wee bell, you'll get notifications anytime I share anything. Leave me some comments, requests, any feedback at all, anything positive or anything constructive you think I can do to make the channel a wee bit better. I'm going to be building it up as I go and adding on some graphics and doing th uh, different things. But I just think it, the most important thing at the moment is just to add as much content as I can. Um, I'm going to do something a bit more in my style and a bit more upbeat in the next song, a bit more rocky. Not rocky as in survivor as in um, just something a wee bit more rock and roll something a wee bit more you can get your teeth into away from the kind of ballads and whatnot so but in the meantime this is ed sheeran perfect and i hope you enjoy and i hope my throat doesn't uh, go because it went when the previous recording i tried but i'll give it a go Darling, just die right in and follow my lead. And I found a girl beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. Cause we were just kids when we fell in. I will not 
through it at last. 